you are one of the 22 million Mumbaikars who has a flight to catch. You book a cab, reach the airport, pick up your boarding pass and get onto the aircraft. Sounds easy, right? That's because there are systems all around us that make it that simple. These systems work round the clock every day for our convenience. Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport is one of them. Look at this passenger for instance. He wouldn't know that while he was getting his boarding pass, while she was negotiating for a better seat, or while he was just sipping coffee, their bags had already reached the belly of their respective flights. A perfectly synchronized system worked behind the scenes to make this possible. I'm curious to know how these numbers work. To know more, I am now meeting the head of airside operations, Prabhat Mahapatra. So Mr. Mahapatra, tell me now, how many passengers do we cater to every day? On an average, we handle 140,000 passengers per day. Per day. 1.4 lakh daily passengers who are taking flights to 95 different destinations from Mumbai International Airport. Declared the busiest single runway international airport in the world, Mumbai Airport made a mark in 2018 with over 1,000 flights managed in one single day. Delhi, which is the biggest airport in the country. And yes. Delhi has three functional runways. Correct. We have always just one uh, runway. Yes, that's right. Which is that's pretty right. remarkable. How many passengers do they handle per day in comparison? Delhi handles 30% uh, more than what we handle. What is the difference between Mumbai and, say, Gatwick? Because both are single runway airport. Gatwick has a parallel runway, whereas in Mumbai, we do not have the luxury of a parallel runway. We have two runways which are intersecting. Like a cross. Like a cross. The space that Mumbai offers can accommodate only a crisscross runway, making only one of two runways operational at any given time. So something happens to the main runway, we'll have to switch out the operations to the secondary runway. And if something happens on the intersection of the runways, the airport is almost is completely closed. Both runways are dysfunctional. One runway, 1,000 flights, and 24 hours. Do the math. It's two flights for every three minutes. The entire pressure of making these numbers work is on the ATC. So this is the super efficient system which enables us to take so many flights a day without any hassle. They are few and they are busy. There's so much stress in this room, it's best not to disturb them. These are the air traffic controllers that handle the traffic of almost 2,300 flights every day. 1,400 planes of overflying traffic and another 900 to 1,000 planes that actually land and take off from this airport. And while we take a lot for granted, I can't help but think of the people who work 24 by 7 to ensure that this operation is always kept up and running. Let's have a closer look at the ground reality of the situation. It seems that the skies look empty, everything looks clear, it doesn't look that busy. But tell me what's happening above us. The fact is, at any given point of time in Mumbai, during peak hours, six to seven aircraft are already holding, waiting for their turn to land. Every 65 to 70 seconds, we have either one landing or one takeoff. So between two aircraft, two arriving aircraft, the separation is around 130 seconds. Out of 130 seconds, like the one which has just landed, it takes, it takes almost 50 seconds to vacate the runway. Right. In that 50 seconds, the departing aircraft is lined up in the next 40 seconds, it's airborne, so 50 plus 40 is 90. Right. So you are left with another 30 to 40 seconds for the next subsequent So that's how close it is. We have just uh, seen one aircraft uh, taking off. Right. And one aircraft is uh, getting ready to depart. And I can and see another aircraft. See one more aircraft which is almost on the finals. It's arriving. The sequence of landing and takeoffs are arranged by the ATC controllers who work round the clock to prevent clashes or confusion. 
These controllers have to factor in every second of a delay caused by any other department or even a passenger. Sometimes there are small little delays. A passenger shows up late. Um, baggage handling machine conks off. Conks off. What impact does that have on the overall operation? It actually results in flight delays. In an airport like Mumbai, let's say in an hour we have given 46 flights arrival and departure combined. And one flight gets delayed, it goes to the next hour. Then the demand in the subsequent hour increases so much that it creates delays to other flights as well. I thought multitasking in my workplace was challenging. But when you actually look at all the complexities, the precision that goes into managing an airport efficiently, smoothly, safely, I think the least you and I can do as passengers is ensure that we get to the airport in time for our next flight.